Hello everybody and welcome back to the stream, or if it's your first time here, welcome. Hope you're all having a fantastic Friday, and uh, here we are, back with the stream. We are about going to go and finish the final run of Death and Taxes. We're, we're just trying to be a Fate's Discord kitten, uh, so it should be the easiest of them to get. And then afterwards, we're going to start on this quaint little, interesting little game called Hylix and see how that works out. We'll uh, worry about that, though, when we get there. It's a, it's, a, it's a strange one. Also, if we liked it a lot, apparently there's Hylix 2, which is like, it's like three times the length of the, of the first one. So, you know, we'll get more than like one and a half streams out of it. So we might do that, perhaps. Assuming we don't have any, uh, something else pressing, you know. But okay, all right. Hope you're all having a good time, that you've been having a good time with this uh, stream. And uh, let's try and get into it real quick here. Uh-huh. All right. Hylix is beautiful. I believe... I don't know. I feel like we've, like, seen, like, watched something about it before. I'm ab I'm absolutely sure about that, I think. Yeah, I remember really liking the abstract shit going on in it. Then, yeah, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. I knew it was one of those guys. All right. So we have to adhere to the rules, show enthusiasm about our job about killing all the humans. Oh, well, let's go! So fucking this game is so weird. Put the eraser there. That there. One human with an engineering or industrial background must die. Very well. That dog climbing on the drum still thinking about that. It's they are like supposed to be as intelligent as uh, toddlers, right? So it makes sense. Landscape architect. Veteran. Factory worker. Okay. Andreas is, trauma is a traumatized veteran. Wait, wait. Have we uh, seen this man before? We have. We're not going to reread this. Have we seen this person before? We have. We're not going to read them. Have we seen this person before? Okay, we're not going to repeat any of that shit. What's this say, though? Team of astronauts said the detonate asteroid threat valiantly gives life to complete mission, right? Astrophysicists Union pays tribute to fallen working class heroes. Abnormal rains pelt nearby county as meteorologists warm warn of potential oncoming storms. Okay. Engineering or industrial background. Uh, so this is about he's this he, we can do this guy because he's industrial areas. Um this guy is also actively a factory worker. Let's just do it. Get it over with. You live. You live. Great. How was the second day on the job? Great! It gladdens me to hear that. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work, and do not let tough choices get you down. I hope I get to kill more people! Uh, no. You are to mark the profiles as requested. We are not here to cause wanton mayhem. Rest well. You will need it. Two humans must die. That's it. Okay. Manufacturing plant grinds to a halt after death of worker. Turns out they were single handedly keeping it operating. Zerd Sand Quarry turned into an ecological sanctuary to attract rare bird species. Cool. Yeah, just two humans. Uh, who cares? Well, if they're a new person we've never seen before, then we'll read their profile. Other than that, we're just gonna skim through everything. Seen this pi This guy's an airplane pilot, I believe. Yeah. 
So we have... If you don't know what happens... You know, okay, let's just, uh... Hold on. Who do we not know what happens when they die? We don't know what happens when this person dies. And what happens when this person dies? All right, everyone else can live. That's a good thing. Let's see. And we read that already? All right, let's go. Bam. Boom. You know, I just realized that it was kind of fucking annoying. Um, I'm using the old microphone right now without, like, the pop filter thing, like, the physical pop filter. And it's actually making me wonder if the new microphone wasn't exactly breaking as much as it was just slightly becoming a bit too obstructed by the pop filter, and that's why I sound fine right now and you guys haven't been complaining about muffling. It, and it's cool that it works, but it's annoying that I spent twenty dollars on a, a simple thing, Grim, which is a uh, <laughs> makes me feel stupid. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Um, awesome! Balancing the world, getting things done. Excellent. That is what I hope to hear. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Now. Let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Cool. I really need to get, get over this habit of trying to scroll all the way the fuck down. Oh my god, it's wasting so much time. Precious seconds. Three humans must die. Okay, what's the news like? All survived in plane crash? Yeah, we've seen that before. Who needs rent caps? Asked longtime politician Leo Orzorski. The market will take care of things on its own. This short sighted act of de deregulating the real estate market puts everyone on a dangerous path. The underworld stirs as an illicit arms dealer is shot in an abandoned factory. Precious seconds where I could be killing people. Exactly. New exotic weapons popping up at gun-related crimes as of late. Robber found to have an amazing singing voice lands record deal. Tale of singing bandit to be turned into a video game. Sun seems ever dimmer. It's e it is if it's even visible due to the constant cloud cover. That sounds ominous. Three humans die. Okay, let's see. Anybody new? This is a new person. We'll read their profile, actually. This is also a new person. This is a new- this is not a new person. You're not new, I figured. Ooh, you dying is a really, really good thing, so we're gonna probably let you live. In fact, yes, that would be funny. Oh, living or dying is just... all good? Interesting. Okay. Who are you? Wilton Singh! 36. Logistic Coordinator. Wilton is a proficient logistics coordinator. Their nickname at work is Smooth Operator. They also apply these skills to managing two separate secret families. <laughs> Juniper Goal. Goel. Rally Driver. Ain't nothing better than pressing that pedal up to the metal. Feel the torque ramp up. Blast over a dirt road. Juniper lives for the excitement, the rush of adrenaline, which is surprising, as when not behind the wheel, Juniper is very calm and cool, always keeping their emotions in check. Hmm. Okay. You already know about you. You dying or living is bad, so it doesn't really matter, does it? And you're not a new person. You die. You living is bad. Uh, let's kill you too. Why not? And that means you must live. Did we? Did we read that? Yeah, we did. Okay. Grim, there you are. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Although you made an error 
Such an attention is not commendable. Oops. I do not fully understand what you are planning to do with uh Oh, I hope this doesn't fuck up the whole ending. Oh, God. I'm gonna be pissed off if it does. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight. So that was annoying. Until tomorrow, Grim. Undead day, nothing out of the ordinary. Two humans must die, spare any humans with a food service background. Okay. That's not, that's food nutritionist. I don't consider that. Cook? Okay, you live. You're a cook, you live. Thanks to Twitch for sending me the notif, now I'm already watching. <laughs> they uh, do seem a bit inconsistent, huh? Retired. All right. The game, the gamer person that is architect. Carmen Del Rio, we know about you. Is there a single new person? Here's one new person. Iwo Sorosen, 39, bartender. Iwo wishes to become the greatest bartender in the world. They constantly performed, performed to their regulars, juggling bottles and setting various liquids on fire. They have yet to finish one performance without something breaking, but the dream is strong. Imagine being so cooked that it doesn't matter if you live or die. Exactly. Your life serves no purpose. This person lives because I think bartender counts as food service. Is this a new person? No, it is not. Okay. Only two must die. We already have one... No, no, we have two people alive. We only have one person to die. Oh wait, a barista. Barista. That also... That's also food service, so we have to let them live. Uh-huh. Well, let's uh, find out what happens when we kill this person. And, uh, sure, let's kill this person. Who cares? The grandma live. Read the, read the phone. Dozens of jobs lost after catastrophic cargo mismanagement. These two had no idea they were married to the same person until this funeral dispute. The frustrated elder strolls around on the street, shouting at death to get their damned act together already. <laughs> Local art gallery shuts down. Record number of participants at the Intercontinental Rally Challenge blasting off tomorrow morning. B, stop playing with my drink and give me the fucking hot chocolate. My favorite things from the Kirby Cafe are the Waddle D hot chocolate, the Kerr Burger. We see this. Yep. Delicious. Ignore the voice. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Did I not? Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choice? Well, she so means it looks appears to be delicious because I haven't eaten it. Ah, I see. Oh yeah, I kind of did just sort of not read that properly. Oops. <laughs> I just kind of skimmed over that. How does it feel to make difficult choices? Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I crave more. Grim. Take this seriously. We are here to save the humans from themselves and hold the chaos at bay. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Absolutely. Hmm. Your certainty soothes me. Ours is the tradition, and those should not ever change. For that is the meaning of a tradition, yes? Well, he does say save the humans from themselves, so you could you could argue with this stupid circular logic nonsense that it's like, oh, well, killing them saves them. It's like, uh-huh, yeah. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. It gladdens me to hear you do not bother yourself with unnecessary concerns. The office is perennial and venerated. Oh, 
I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Not really. Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Ignore the mirror! Total of six humans, two humans age 60 or older, any humans with an economy related profession. First, we look at do and this is new. Sort by content aggregation. Let's read the two new people first. Stanislav Durov, typist, 31. Stanislav works at Cosmopolis City Courthouse. They have a few goals in they have few goals in life other than becoming the world's fastest typist. Already their fingers run across the keyboard like bolts of lightning, but they feel like there's more that could be achieved. So a total of six have to die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have to spare two, so we can't really be flippant about who we spare necessarily. Because there's only two that we can spare. Augustus Zagzma. Taxi driver, 44. Uh, Augustus dreams of becoming a millionaire, but is also content with being a taxi driver. Their cab is decorated from hood to trunk, featuring several disco balls, aquarium wallpaper, and subwoofers playing techno rave on full blast. Okay, when, okay. I was, I was into what this guy was saying until it said full blast, and I was like, okay, now you're just a fucking obnoxious nonsense person. Imagine being able to type like 200 words per minute or some shit. Yeah, that's like the type. Yeah, that's that's um that's a bit much. So, any human with an economy-related profession. So, ta so we have taxi driver and typist. So this wait 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 typist at a courthouse. That's not economy. Okay, so this guy must die. He is a banker. He is an economy background. Recruiter for what? Military recruiter. Retired. Fortune with a protein bar factory allowing them to retire early. So, I don't know if them owning a an old factory meant that they're an economist profession. Retired veteran of longer conflict with the Marissa Palinsula. Yeah, we, I remember that guy. Intern. Major publishing company. Okay. Economic consultant. Okay, you die. That's all the economist people. Now we need at least two humans age 60 or older. So let's just uh, look for the two retire. So we have, so we have this guy and we have this guy, and yeah, everyone else is too young. So then now we have, we need six people, we need two more. This guy's obnoxious, Arish. Intern. Dislike their job, huh? You're a military, you know what, I don't care. Military industrial complex, perish. Uh, you living is not a good thing, apparently. That's fine. Where did I put him? Here? Did I actually even read his fucking bio? Oh, wait, no. You, you were somebody we already knew about. What am I talking about? You living is partially a good thing. Okay, let's read the phone. Local bar explodes after bartender mistakes bottle of nitroglycerin for vodka. Drops it. Wow. Young Cook discovers new healthy way of preparing food. Doctors amazed. The Silver Foxes team pawns young noobs. Well, rarely, but it's fun to see the elderly in action. Young Mountaineer lost in uh, Karalasa... Wait, what? Karalafia Mountain? Belt? I'm trying to read this fucking foreign uh, lettering here, and I just don't know what it says. 
Uh, another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? I was built for dark times. Excellent. With this attitude, you will become a most industrious reaper. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Perhaps an economic crash, corruption, bad management. Hello, hello, Thurman! You caught us pretty early. Okay, so all we're doing with the end of this game is that we're just trying to get the ending where we're like the Discord kitten to this guy here. So you, so really you're just missing us skimming through for like the game, really, you know? Off you go now, Grim. Good night. You haven't missed much. And then when we're done with this ending, we'll... Uh, Go to Hylix, unless, of course, I fucking failed the ending, in which case I'm gonna have a massive hyperventilating shit. Grim is fake. Well, you saw what I look like. I'm a, I, I'm playing as a kitty cat. Over the day, two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Okay. First, let's determine who is a new face and who is you've seen before. It's that's the only content really to look out for. This circumstance. Wow, we've killed this guy. We've dealt with that guy twice in a row on different terms. Okay, none of these people are new, so... So, helpful against the times. Advisor. Residential can't. They're my misplaced. Oh! The reputations of everyone they've advised thus far have crashed and burned. Hmm. But we want people helpful against the troubles. Them living is fine. Drug dealer. Uh, IT. I think we want this guy to live, maybe, because it's maybe an economy thing that helps. I don't know. I don't know. Only two. I want to kill more than just two. Now I'm here just trying to, you know, figure out... <laughs> I want to kill everything, but I can't. You are not helpful against the economy because all your candidates just are terrible, so we're just going to kill you. Poacher. Lumberjack. Oh, dang, that guy destroys the environment. That person is a good person. I don't think a drug dealer helps against the economy in any capacity, whereas these logger, like the poacher sucks. Uh, I guess we'll kill the druggie. Uh, the Elon Musk parody can live. Ah. Now let's read the phone. Local man commits suicide after losing family savings in a market crash. Respected financier found dead after devastating market crash. Suicide suspected. Crooked bankers, master bank officials under investigation for long, for years-long fraud. MLM recruiter demonstrates company's flagship super juice, Poison Self. A spree of bankruptcies strike the chocolate-producing trading industry. Chocolate scarcity now in effect. Locals light a bonfire made from car tires and aquarium wallpaper in memory of beloved cab driver. They were a gem of this neighborhood, comments local lady, sobbing. 112 staplers encased in jello. See these 10 funniest office pranks ever. Challenger at the swiftest typist World Cup. Type so fast they accidentally break a finger. Oof. 
The onion will exter exterminate Discord mods. Good, we need we need that. AI breakthrough imminent. Promises founder of Trans Global Link. Rowdy parties on the rise. Cause disturbances at various neighborhoods. All right. I have unmarked profiles. Where? Oh. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Crushing it! Profiles come in, I send them out. Clockwork. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the site eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. I'm ready. Let's do it. Now, where did I put those papers? Uh, your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Thank you. Oh. Do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Piece of cake! Careful, Grim. That is exactly the kind of hubris that will lead to a downfall. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. I'm gonna be so angry if we don't get this ending path. Because I made one mistake. You know what I forgot? I've got to go to the tavern. But then again, I don't know if I give a shit. Three humans must die. Spare any humans between 35 and 60. Between 30... Okay, so this person could maybe be killed. This is between 35 and 60. This is over 60. We want to spare this guy if possible. So you, oh, you're a new character. All right, so Louis Noon, 30. Louis! Uh, 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 uh. Roadie. Being a roadie sometimes feel like a feels like a thankless job. You basically handle every part of a concert production, but get very little glory or recognition for all that backbreaking labor. Lewis doesn't complain, but he dreams of bigger things. Oh, well, it's your lucky day. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's between. Right, this guy is one that could be killed. This guy is over that. Okay, so it's these three. But three humans must die. So that means we uh, have to kill one from this pile. But anyway, uh, between... So, sorry, friend. You are under the age of 35. Everyone shut up, I'm eating peanut butter. <laughs> You're a new person. Langston Pope, 45, Landlord. For years, Langston has accumulated wealth from the various plots of real estate handed down to them from their family, who managed to acquire said holdings decades ago through a number of shady deals during the so-called we-don't-really-talk-about-it days of business. Well, three, three need to die. Uh, this guy is a cult leader. It's funny that we get... It is very funny that he gets to live. Let's read the phone. Local mountain cat population dwindling. Food chain ruined. Logging company accused of destroying yet another hawk habitat. Everything was done by the book, claims spokesperson. Researchers find numerous back backdoors in trans global ink products, granting access to any number of unknown parties. Neutral president rises to power after replacing entire advisory team. Former advisors reported missing. Experimenting drug dealer invents powerful hallucinogen, accidentally stumbles off bridge. 
Funny. Mom gave me a, a piece of health candy bar to taste, and she asked how it was. I was like, it tastes like it looks. And she's like, oh. <laughs> uh, was it? So I assume it tastes like shit. Grim. Ah, or it tastes yes. like candy. Good, good. <clears throat> okay. It's like cardboard. Ooh. Enough. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. What kind of emergency? Hmm. Okay, listen up and keep this to yourself. Some philosophers and researchers are attempting to set up a utopian community for the betterment of humanity. I think we're on the right. I think we're on the right route because I don't think we've gotten this dialogue option before. I must investigate their strategies for any flaws. Anyway, <clears throat> while I'm gone, another will be in charge. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. I'm fine with that. Business as usual. Quite so. And you are already acquainted. Kitty, 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 kitty. Another thing we have to do is give the thing to Lady Poddington. Three plants must die. So I'm going to kill this uh, flytrap immediately. Be oh, wait. Never mind. This is not. This is okay. So, there's a fly trap that you could get during this mission that like kills the bees, which I thought was very fucking stupid. But this one is um different. Where is my pen? How did my pen get in the desk? Dionea is a Venus flytrap that lives near a pond inside a forest and has a versatile diet of bugs. It munches all day on mosquitoes, flies, and dragonflies. Overall, an exemplary plant. Exemplary plant. Okay. Okay, this is this is not a new plant. This a new plant? This is a new plant. Is this a new plant? This is a new plant. I, I know it's plant profiles, which is stupid. This is not a new plant. Uh, oh, okay, uh, yeah, this definitely is one that needs to live. Even though I shouldn't, I don't really need to be abiding by any morality in my head. It's a blade of grass, it grows lonesome. I still think this game would have been better, even better if we had a child or a kitten end up on the list. Yeah, it would have been really fuck it, fucked up if, and interesting if they put, like, children as potential thing people to kill, you know? Is there any reason that this thing should die? I don't think so. Yet another blade of grass. Yabog! I should just write Yabog on every one of these cursed profiles. I'm so bored I could cry right now. <laughs> rose Gallica is one of the beautiful small rose bushes on display on the display window of a flower shop. It is dire need of repotting. We're just getting planted into the ground, at least for a little while. Uh, let's just kill the kill these guys, these blades of grass. Just grass, who cares? And now I have I still need to kill one more. I have to kill either Let's not kill the fly trap. Flytrap is good. Now let's check the phone. Landlord found dead after falling down an elevator shaft in their own poorly maintained building. Join Mercury on the path to glory, a, co a commune for those who seek the revelation. New swim disciple of Yataro aimed, aiming to reach world championship times. Every stroke brings them closer, coach notes. Heir of the Suwa clan, chosen to star in a modern adaptation of Shaw Lancet's play, The Tragedy of, of Weiler. 
I hate my job 171. Ya bog. Yet another blade of grass. Pro news. Construction firm Screwco and Co. and local environmental activists in a stalemate over a new railway site. Uh, sucks to suck. This small kitten named Tappy has breathing issues, but she could heal from them. Oh. Okay, Lady Poddington. Oh my god, you're so incredibly cute and fluffy. <laughs> hey, Cat, I brought you a gift. Oh, cool, nothing ominous here. You truly want to work here? Kill Tappy Chan. <laughs> God, that's dark. Two humans. Any two. Who gives a shit? I'm gonna separate them out based upon whether or not we've seen them before. This is a new person. What about you? Are you new? You're not new. You are also not new. I recognize your stupid face. So, Lucas Kababi, 32, getaway driver. Lady Paw is fucking ugly in some of the shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucas got tangled in the whole organized crime web at an early age through debts their, debts their brother had incurred. To settle the score, Lucas was forced to do, into working as a driver, although as, as of late they seem to have been getting their hands dirtier. Uh, you can die, sure, I don't care. Pietro, he's a soldier. CEO. Astrophysicist. I'll kill the soldier. Because the CEO might be helpful against uh, the economic collapse that's going on, even though I shouldn't be doing it based on that logic. City Council brainstorms ideas to turn Cosmopolis City green after last blade of grass in city found wilted near sidewalk. Oh, so it, it inspired them. So that it was it was good for the grass to die. Scruco and Co. compromised, diverting railway away from treasured national tree and promised to adhere to environmental standards. Economic hardships claim another local small business. Flower shop goes bankrupt. The military industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first ever female CEO. Well, uh, yeah, she's alive because I think uh, economy is a thing, I guess. Ah, uh, I still can't believe how fluffy you are. I just want to pet the cat. I don't care, I want to pet the cat! Oh, okay. The cat bears her teeth. They look incredibly sharp. Sharp enough to chew through osseous material. Okay, maybe I shouldn't touch my boss. I don't want to, like, pet the cat and then, like, lose the entire fucking route. Or worse, get, like, a death game over. That would be so funny if that's how we died. The Majestic Grace the Cat lowers her head under the pile of documents. I'll take this to mean I'm doing well. Time to kill. Do your job. At least a total... Okay, a total of seven have to die. At least two humans with a religious background have to die. Spare any retired people if possible. We have eight profiles. If there is a single retired person... Ex-child actor might be a thing. Both of us are starting to seriously someone popular... Um... Okay, you're not retired. Kidnapper? You're probably gonna be killed. Supermodel. What the fuck? Retired live streamer. Spare any retired people. Well, okay, again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spare this person. This is the only person we spare. Everyone else will perish. So the question now is, are these new people? Okay. Cesare Julianus. 48, unemployed. Cesare used to be a miner until their lungs got completely ruined by, uh, pneumo 
pneumoconiosis, also known as black lung. Surprised that it's, it still happens to this day and age? That's corporate cost cutting for you. Cesare now survives off their settlement money and medical pension. A friend sent me a pic of some FNAF novels in the bargain shelf at the mall and they look cringe. Well, I'm glad they're in the bargain shelf because that means nobody wants them. But yeah, so seven people have to die. So, perish. I don't think we've gotten this character before. We haven't. Anna Isabel Sanchez, 22, supermodel. She looks 32, not 22. Anna spends all their time and energy on adhering to increasingly unreal beauty standards. Well, she's not doing a great job. After a gut-wrenchingly painful week of juice detox, they still got yelled at for being a fat cow. During moments of weakness, they even tend to believe these claims and accusations. Oh, so you're committing... I'm, I'm allowing you to commit suicide. Oops, that's, uh, that's very, 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 very dark. But it's too late. Kidnapper. Alchemist. I remember the alchemist. Yeah, it's fine that he dies. Nothing wrong with the alchemist dying. Baltazar. Dying is very bad. I don't care. We've definitely killed this guy before. Window shopping for planets. Could this planet be our future home? Young thug gunned down during a police raid of a suspected mob hideout. Sundowner announces another 50 billion arm sales to Waskagrad. Waskagra Waskagra something. When will people realize these kinds of superficial faux reformist changes are not some progressive step forward? The arms industry still works the same matter works the same no matter who is technically in charge. Did you see Mr. Beast and those other scammers are coming out with a Lunchables ripoff? I didn't even realize they were even still in any level of business. By the way, I should do a better song. I like this. This one's pretty good. Today went well. I think I even feel a bit proud. now, I'm not to blame. No way, cat. I did not make a mistake. Don't give me that look. I'm a good worker. Why am I even yelling at a cat anyway? I have to contact Fate. I need answers. Pick up the receiver. Sure. Met the a familiar voice. That sounds grainy. Yeah. Yes. Why is someone calling me through the office phone? The phone is for emergencies only. Hey, Fan, I may have caused a few excess deaths, maybe. Hello? Hello? Damned construction. Never was. Listen, whoever you are, uh, it's probably grim. Things always happen in the world. So, you know, do not worry. Okay, that's a weight off my mind. Choose better to On the packaging, it literally is just Lunchables, but with a fuck ton of dubious looking chemical preservatives. I don't know what he thinks he's doing by trying to do that. Three humans must die, spare humans with a law background. Okay, let's look through law backgrounds. Safety inspector. That's not a law. That's not law, actually. Rector. Uh, I don't know what a rector is. Police officer. Spare any with law background. So he lives immediately. Hacker. Pharmacist. Judge. We need uh, one more? Alright, let's take a look. Are you new? 
you're dying is a bad thing. Are you? Yeah. Again, let's look. What is? Let's see. What? What is a rector? Kepri onward, a rector. Kepri is is strict and stoic, with a strong belief in hard work, and that they've done enough of it to last a lifetime. They have a loving spouse and an estranged child. When the heir told their romantic when the heir told of their romantic inclinations, Kepri thought about beating those thoughts out of it out with a stick, but ended up ba banishing the kid from home instead. Oh, you're like a religious asshole, and one of them is your child is like gay or some shit, I guess. Okay. Roy Zweig, pharmacist. Recommend which over the counter? Oh, right, I remember. This guy's a, a shithead. I remember him now. And none of these people are. I guess. You live? And everyone else dies. Ex child actor found dead at the Path of Glory commune after police raid. Drug over overdose suspected. Mass suicide at the Path of Glory. Entire commune dead by what looks like an overdose at the behest of noted speaker and cult leader Mercury St. Eons. Alchemists found suffocated in their own lab. Tune in today. These live streams by a jolly elder are absolutely worth it. Unknown mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day. Stadium officials confused. Supermodel found dead in hotel room. In-depth overview. The merits of nuclear power. Based. Uh, reports just coming in. It seems a hostage situation may be taking place at the courthouse. I see. I'm really hoping for an FDA crackdown. Which ending is Hemi's favorite? Oh, the the good one where uh, we uh, save the world and kick fate out of his job. Okay. Kitty cat, time for review. Great, I'll be off now. <laughs> Reporting live from Tubbleston with Reva the Pepper. Oink, what is your favorite dish to put pickles in? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I think a relish on a hot on hot dogs is a bit underrated. Not gonna lie, I tend to eat pickles, like, just by themselves. <laughs> like, just crunch, you know? Um, they're good in burgers and sandwiches. Very much so. Okay, so. Total three humans. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Spare any humans with an artistic background. Okay. Well, just, let's just look for religious people. Pilgrim. Oh no, it's this guy. This guy is so nice. But he is religion, so we must kill him. Bicycle repairman. Choir singer. Wait, what if it's not a religious choir? No, yeah, it's the church choir. Okay. News anchor. Industrial chemist. Okay. Spare any humans with an artistic background. This guy is a musician. Therefore, he lives. You get one more person to kill. So, this is a new person. We've never seen them before. Adena Sanchi, 31, news anchor. Adena is an ambitious news anchor who is trying to get more into investigative journalism after the recent nuclear meltdown. Adena decided to visit the site of the accident, determined to find answers. Okay, you're not evil, so... Oh, we know this guy. If he lives, more bad than good happens. Verity Hawthorne. We know you as well. What about you? Electrician? You're new. Serena Masvidal. 
74 electrician, an avid electronics enthusiast, uh, Serena has continued working as an electrician well into their retirement, although their grandkids keep telling them to retire, especially due to bad eyesight, their love for the job will always win. Well, well, well. You dying is breaking even. You living is bad. You know, let's, we'll just make this as the choice. Oh, it's even worse. No, wait, no, that's, that's better. That breaks even. Come on! Okay, it's a good thing that she lives then, all right? It's a good thing that she lives as well, all right. Phone! Meltdown at local power plant kills hundreds and pollutes entire valley. Nuclear power, are the risks worth it? Yes, we say yes. This is, okay, this is kind of fucking annoying because I don't, I don't like anti-nuclear propaganda shit and nuclear power is not, like, it, it doesn't really do this almost ever. Like, the reason Fukushima went under was because of a fucking tsunami, okay? <laughs> Nuclear power is not just this thing that just is a time bomb or anything like that. And nuclear waste isn't just like a lake of like of like green sludge. That's not how that works either. Okay. Rector of Sidoston High School found dead. Guess they're a director now, a local jokester notes. Wow. He did the gritty on him. Wow. Hostage crisis solved at local courthouse. Ex-hacker hired as an IT security consultant for Colus Digi Entertainment, an AI research company. What? But cartoons told me that toxic waste is glowing green goo! <laughs> oh, God. I always lose track of my hands and the keyboard. My gift is doing you well. Oh, that's it. Okay. Reggie's wife could learn a thing or two. From glowing green goo? I don't know. I think she needs to see a doctor if something like that happens. Quota for the day. Six humans have to die. Anyone related to transportation has to die. All right, let's just immediately... Okay, geneticist. Journalist. Subway operator. Wait! I'm a retard. I should check to see if they're a new character first, though. That was not a new character. Okay. Preacher. Dancer. Field hand. Corrupt CEO. Minister. Driver. Choose humans on the left side of the profile bundle to die. Oops, I kind of fucked that up, but it's too late. Six humans have to die. Any related to transportation? Yeah. So you have to die. Okay. You're, you're, a, you're a new person, so let's take a look. Ezra Gabriel. 40. Minister. Ezra is the minister of a farming, agri, a farming agri, and aquaculture. Uh, appointed to this position by the current cabinet for their past loyalty. Thing is, they've no idea how to run this ministry, or any other for that matter, as they keep getting political appointments only through the favors of their old friends and drinking mates. So when it said minister, I thought that this was like a religious thing, but it's not. It's actually... He's a fuckwit, is what he is. Six people have to die, huh? You dying is more good than bad. You're a new person. Rayan Vargas, 41, journalist. Rayan, otherwise a solid and stalwart journalist, has, been, has an obsession. They adamantly claim they saw, when younger, a headless rider emerge deep from within the autumn mist, searching for their lost beret. Uh, you are not new. 
You living, you dying is very bad. I don't care, though. I might kill you anyway. We'll see. Are you, what, are you? You're not new. Dying is breaking even. You're a new person. Arcadius Novitsky. 22, field hand. Arcadius lives the life country musicians always brag about having. Blue denim jeans, red truck, and closeness to the earth. Still, an oddly large amount of their time is spent with the Scarecrow. They like drinking cheap and watery beer. Okay, like, if this guy is fucking a Scarecrow, I don't know if I care. Oh, we're gonna kill you. Uh, we're gonna kill you. We need only two more. Oh, that's great. Only two more. Okay. I don't care if that guy is fucking his Scarecrow, if I'm gonna be totally honest. You dying is breaking even... You dying is only bad. You dying is good. You dying is unknown. That's correct. All right. Breaking even and bad. Okay, we'll, we'll kill this dancer guy. That's six people. I'm gonna be so mad if I don't get this fucking, this stupid fucking ending to trigger. Yeah, I don't care if that guy is fucking a scarecrow. It really does not matter to me. House fire caused by loose wires, investigation finds. Hipsters panic as trendy bike shop shuts down after owner's death. Pseudo pharma introduces new and very expensive pill that may slow down aging by 1.9%. The economical pseudo- oh, right, right. Pseudopharma stocks go through the roof after announcement of new anti-aging pill. Recent nuclear meltdown caused by serious safety violations reports A. Sanchi. Uh, Parliament to discuss stricter safety requirements for nuclear power plants. Hope the police finally do something about this highway menace. <laughs> I have spinach spicy chili with beans, toast, and an egg. That sounds so good. Is the, is the spinach raw or cooked? I've never had cooked spinach. I've always been told that it tastes terrible. Damn it, this is taking an hour. It's almost taken an hour to get this. I have returned. Did you miss me? Sure. Great. I am glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. So, okay. Yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. Me, yeah, I'd have many exciting plans for if Ragonoid can visit. Also, me goes to Daiso for three hours to look at different cooking pots. It's cooked. I personally like cooked spinach. I have no idea what cooked spinach is like at all. Like the only, the only, the only propaganda telling me cooked spinach is good is Popeye. Everything else is like cooked spinach is terrible, <laughs> and so I have no idea if I if I like it or not. Two-week performance valuation. Okay, we should get the ending. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. We should get this fucking thing. Where did I place those papers? Right. It seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. Curious. Aha! We got, we got, we got the achievement. Fate's pet. Okay, we got it. I love this job so much. I can tell. Your actions speak for themselves. I always liked to cook spinach as a toddler. I'd mimic the Popeye thing when I ate it because I loved Popeye. I liked Popeye a lot too. Yeah, it just, it, Popeye was never enough though to make me think that I would ever like it. Also, I was never fed it ever in my entire life. So I just don't know. I've had raw spinach in uh, sandwiches though. And that's, that's an acceptable greenery to put into a sandwich. Overall, I am extremely pleased with your progress. You are an extremely loyal reaper. In fact, I have never met one so loyal, so dedicated. Uh, I remember when I was inspired. Hmm. Perhaps it is time. I have to tell you something you cannot speak of to anyone. If you do, 
all will be denied, and you will face grim repercussions. Yes, I'm unlocking the secrets of the plot, right? In a sense. All is not as it seems. I like putting spinach on in pies and omelets. I can see that. I can see it working. I just don't know what it tastes like, really. I have grown tired of it all. This tedious existence, these humans, the endless tirade of death. It is all meaningless, you see. An endless loop of monotony that I cannot escape. That we cannot escape. Do you know how long I have been doing this? I barely remember myself. You're an abstract concept. I am exhausted and sick of it all. I wish to stop. But no one can leave until the job is done. But if the great dying claims them all... I'm leaning back, so hopefully I'm not too muffled in the audio. Move, my, move the microphone forward a little itty-bitty bit. Actually, wait. Let's see. Can I put the microphone, like, here? Hey, that works. Maybe I can lean back with this. Hope this isn't causing a shitload of noise. Sorry, guys. Then I could be free and claim the rest I deserve. So I have been helping Right, Carl. We're making you a fight for this week. Dying. <laughs> there will be no equilibrium. All the humans will die. I will no longer be necessary and can fade away. And you, my can help me achieve this goal. I have noticed your distaste for the human. You have wished to end more of them. Well, your wishes align with mine. Nice! It's what I've and always wanted. Sometimes, dreams do come true. Carl will put you in the monkey department. Thank you for listening to an old and tired being. I thought to give you something in return, but you already have the remedy to desolation. I hope it brings you insight and inspiration. Serenity to desolation. Strange. I don't know what that is. We haven't been here before. On this character. But then I heard that it's actually kind of like an infinite, literal nothingness. Lady? Can you believe it? Yeah, I think it's pretty implausible myself, but who the heck knows? An enthralling hypothesis. By all accounts, although I also perceive it to be dubious, we're not dealing with science fiction. This is just the afterlife. <laughs> I imagine it's something rather mundane. I heard it suggested it might be heterochromia. This is the bar, eh? Verily. I'll be with you in a second. Don't you, uh, have anything in the archive? I'd be disappointed if we never got to the bottom of this. There's gotta be a way to find out. Hmm. It's conceivable. I'll have to search through some of our primordial sources. I'll get back to you if I happen to find anything. For now, seems you have a fresh patron to attend to. Right. Hey there! <laughs> There's a new group I've heard about. I'm Sari. Welcome to the Cerberus' Den. Finally decided to come around one day. Yeah, felt like the right time. Isn't every weekend the right time for a visit? In any case, what can I get you? Like a drink. Yeah. What's your poison? Vision and Tariff. Axe on the Beach, Bloody Gary, Corpse Re Reviver. Uh. Sis, you really gotta distill the spirits well in order to achieve flawless fate. Goodbye! I'll be going now. Au revoir, little reaper. Some of the people in this building fucking suck. Mostly fate. I don't really dislike the other characters. 
Sari did break our heart, though. That bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. A total of six humans have to die. At least three humans with scientific background. Two humans aged 30 or younger. God, okay. So, three with science. As long as I can, as I know what the numbers are, I can, I can read it from a leaned back distance. Six must die, three humans with science must die. Okay. Cryptocurrency, that's not science. White collar criminal, that's not science. Marine biologist. And we already knew this person from Liv, so we don't care about anything else. Nuclear physicist. Researcher. For what? Researching the end of days, huh? At least two humans age 30 or younger. 49. 29, that's one. Okay, we need one more who's age 30. Email scammer, art forger, scam artist. 30 or younger, 30 or younger, 30 or younger. Okay, this guy, all right. Are you a new character? You are. Joshua Lasker, cryptocurrency enthusiast 21. It took a while for Joshua to get hyped about the digi doubloon cryptocurrency, which just had a third surprising major rise in value. They love to tell everyone that they meet how DigiDoubloon is better than other cryptocurrencies. If they make a lot of money, they plan to open a CrossFit studio. <laughs> okay. Uh, die? Hmm. Okay. This guy living is good? Somehow? This guy living is bad, so I can kill him as my... Well, how many have to die? Six? Okay. You're a new person. Salome Albion, 48, art forger. Salome started imitating famous artists as a hobby. Then they discovered their partner was selling the forgeries while telling clients the artworks were real. Salome was furious at first, but due to financial difficulties, he's starting to go... Uh, started to go along with it. Um, an original piece they're most proud of is an oil painting of a bullfinch. Whatever that is. I don't care if you die. Okay, one more. Scam artist. We'll have the scam artist uh, live. Or we can kill this guy. Hmm. Now, you living is a good thing for some reason. Okay, that's six. up-and-coming athletes under trial for manslaughter of two rivals. Infamous CEO sells their enormous yacht directly into a beach. Sails their enormous yacht directly into a beach. Found impaled on a tree. It's a miracle. Eswari Shah saves thousands of lives with their 10-step program and setting up support centers all over the country. Multiple attacks on Shah Church is suspected to be mob-related. Collision throws two subway trains off elevated tracks, both operators dead. Daredevil delivery driver crushed by falling debris when sun earthquake strikes Cosmopolis City. Mandolin band formed by local farm worker going on their first national tour. The visionary Adam read the 10 best science fiction novels from the early atomic age. How do you serve drinks so fast from the other side of that tunnel, bartender? <laughs> bartender would hate me because all I do is make tun e tunnel echo jokes. Yeah, she'd be very offended by you mocking her her very distant, echoey voice that she was born with, I guess. Was that every was that everyone? It was. Alright, let's go. Grim, my grand accomplice. Welcome. 
I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Pretty good. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue. Not really. I'd rather get back to work. Oh, one more thing. Although, personally... Whoops, sorry. <sighs> Until tomorrow, Grim. Squeak, 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 squeaky toy, squeak. I did not think this route would take this whole fucking stream, but I guess it is. Okay. A total of two humans have to die. Humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. Oh, okay, that's very easy. That is incredibly easy. Okay. You're a new person, okay. Raya Kaldum, 24, Tudor. Raya Tudor's language is the children of foreign parents who have migrated to Cosmopolis City with great success. They're well liked by both the kids and the parents. Lately, they claim to have seen the headless rider cruising around at the edge of town. Sorry, but, uh, die. Uh, are you new? You're not new, so perish. Okay. Are you new? You're not new. You survive. Are you new? You're not new. End of day- End of day's researcher eaten at their lab by bugs for research. Used for research. End of day's draws near. Already the bugs rebel. There is no escape. Physicist sacrifices itself in order to prevent radiation leak. Thinker claims we live in the best possible society of all time. Nothing is ever wrong. Painter dead from breathing in too many toxic fumes released by their experimental paints. Digi doubloon value keeps fluctuating wildly. Interview with the forger who works with security firms to make the world more secure against forgeries. Okay. Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Are you really about to ask about writing when we're both conspiring to kill the whole world? Should I become a writer? Sure, why not? Why not? Indeed. Why not? I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. Well, off you go now. Let us return to my deliberations. Man, I'm trying to go fast, and it's, uh... All humans in the bottom row must die! Alright. You're not new. Dead. You're new! Martin Vidoek. Uh, 22. Conscript. All Martin wants to do in life is to be creative, but harsh reality has forced them against their will into a situation they have no control over. Until they return from military service, that is. Dead in combat. Jack Cujo, you are not new. Are you new? Nope. Are you new? Nope. Are you new? Nope. Are you new? You are new, okay. Tristram, oh, ho, oh, oh. Diablo, okay. El Diablo. Muerte. Tristram, Tristram S. Bentley, biker, 21. Tristram is, is an up-and-coming dirt motocross racer. Is this grammatically incorrect? Shouldn't this be an up-and-coming? 
They're also the Headless Rider, Unmasked. Turns out sightings of the legend were not true. Instead, Tristram decided to pose as the Headless Rider to prank the original journalist with the obsession. Funny. Ba funny and based. You live. More power to the Ultra Corporations is the way of the future. They can build it. They will build it. Death of Viticulturist drastically lowers the overall quality of wine from Sun County. Well-liked teacher found dead, their head removed. Doctors have continued to be baffled. That's fucked up. All the Kirby's in the back go whoop 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 whoop. Go Gallstead falls into chaos as military forces move towards the capital. Looks like uh, the world's being destroyed by war. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Yes, they should all go. Yes. But can we truly foretell what it would mean? I've already decided why even think about anything. Indeed. Why question? I would do well to learn from your unambiguous steadiness. <laughs> no need for second thought. No need to imagine anything different. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. All the waddles in the club go wow 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 Why did I do that? The rules every other profile. So this one needs to live. Are you new? You're new. Okay. Chase Fontaine, thirty-six, legendary guitarist. Also. It's every other profile, so the first one lives. Legendary guitarist. Chase absolutely loves shredding guitar solos. The more technical, the better. Their fingers pick and slide over guitar strings so fast, most cameras can't even catch up. They're an idol to an ambitious young guitarist to be. This person also automatically dies. And they're not a new, they're not new. This person will live. You're not new, so... This person will die. Are you new? Nope. I need to go buy another eraser, if I'm gonna be honest. So that was live, die, live, die. Li so this guy's live. Are you new? Nope. Live, die, live, die. Live. This one's a... Okay, this, this this one's a die. We know he's new, though. So, Gunther Felek, the 40, journalist. More often than not, Gunther finds themselves in dangerous situations due to their curious nature and profession. They haven't had a chance to build a family because of their risky life choices, but hope to settle down eventually. At the moment, they're undercover, working for a minor drug lord trying to expose corrupt police. Oh, you're just... Yeah. This now this lady will will uh, live. You new? Yes. Clinical laboratory technician. What did the chemists say when they found two isotopes of helium? Hee <laughs> hee. Is just one of the jokes you can hear when working with Izusa. Oh right, I forgot to say her name. Uh, Izusa Medesiander, thirty-five. Clinical laboratory technician. Uh, they annoy their co-workers with chemistry jokes all day, but can't be fired since they're incredibly good at their job. And then this guy looks like Guy Fieri and he will die. And he's not new either. No, no, I can't kill her. I had to let her live because of the rules. A biochemist almost dies in a fire at work. They were able to get out by following a fleeing cat. Are, are we saved? Young biochemist finds vaccine for chicken flu. Chicken flu vaccine shots now free thanks to donation from a local business. Stealing food that was left in the office fridge, a crime most heinous? Murder-suicide note reads, I was wronged in the worst way possible. Four yet-to-be-identified people arrested in a major embezzlement-related scandal related to TransGlobal Inc. Drunken crane operator tips crane into sea. 
All the waddles in the club go mysterious Spanish music. <laughs> Phasmopolis City local racer, Christram Bentley, uh, neck and neck with the reigning champion of the motocross league. Young conscript accidentally shot during a live fire exercise. Genetically modified crops proven to be a hoax. Use all natural fertilizers. CEO of the of the Watt Watt. Watt Watt social media platform planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Okay. This stupid mirror really wants to talk to me, but I'm not going to do it. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. I'm all yours, metaphorically speaking. It. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. Oh, can I read it? Once it is. Anyway, we have some official. Nothing amiss here. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. The mirror have nothing better to do, I guess. The last three humans coming from the backs have to die. So you, you, you. Everyone else lives. Okay, Mattius Bard, 47, unemployed. Mattius has been following the escapades of Irvin Ramis for a while, getting ever more obsessed with the existence of vampires. They've been seen lurking in abandoned houses, creepy manners, and dark alleys. Riemann Scanlon, pugilist, 31. Uh, Riemann stings like a scorpion and floats like a dandelion seed. A true working-class hero with a respectable career of 25 wins and zero losses. They're known for a relentless fighting style that incorporates exceptional dodging capabilities, yet lately it's been growing harder to get new fights and money is getting tight. Are you new? You're not new! Die! Die and be gone! You're not new! Live and be gone! I love when they're not new profiles. I don't want to make this take so long. Journalist on a covert operation disappears. New dangerous drugs flooding the market seemingly undisturbed. Local lab tech repeatedly says drop the drop the base while while tit rating or tilt rating. I can't see. Wins comedy award. Okay, cool. Vampires are real. Vampire hunter found dead in an alley with two puncture marks in their throat. Experimental farmer arrested for poisoning hectares of farmland with homemade fertilizer. Land unusable for years to come. Nation's wealthiest prosecuted as damning information surfaces at the house of a dead housekeeper. Noted archaeologist caught attempting to smuggle ancient artifacts out of Faradin, shot by a militia group. Timofey jumps over their highest bar yet as the qualifiers soon soon devote themselves right to the world championships. Booties. Cozy Bohemian Waffle House gaining popularity. Go check it out. Vampire Fanatic claims they have an information on who killed vampire hunter Ramus. Rumors of match fixing in the boxing scene garner interest from investigators. Ah! That guy is cheating! That guy is cheating! Grim, um, why are you here? Oh, right. Ugh, let us get on with it. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Good job, I guess. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Hey, can I ask you some more questions? Questions. Questions, Grim. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make no idea. Yet, I imagine it would be... Pleasant but what if it... Yes, that feels right. Any other questions? Is there an afterlife? Not in the sense that humans consider it. No. What if the afterlife is a dating game where you must charm strange monstrous gods? Grim. 
<laughs> Meet your unmaker. Suggest the at the afterlife is an eldritch monster dating show. Okay, cool. That is just stupid. You think mortals have some drive towards death? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time. They do seem often willing to throw their lives away for stupid reasons. Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful, even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Any other questions? Actually, I got nothing. Rand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. So I thought this was this was gonna take like an hour, but it's not. So I'm gonna get up and go use the toilet, and we will return and finish this uh, this run. That's the wrong screen. There we go. Okay. Uh, in a little while, guys. Hold on.
Okay, I have returned. All right, cool. Back to the game. What? Uh, where the fuck were we? Uh, we just started a new day. All right, let's go. Welcome to Tub Stream. Today we eat cotton candy. Is the blue favor the best? Stay tuned. This is a new profile. New. 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 God damn it, why are they all new? Any humans who seem suspicious have to die. Okay. Um, wait a minute. That means I could just kill all of them, right? Like, who cares? We'll read all of them after after I do this. Ulysses Haran, 36, Gorilla. <laughs> gorilla. Ulysses went into hiding in the extensive forests around Cosmopolis City a dozen years ago when they when they anticipated an imminent invasion from abroad. Although the assault never came, Ulysses has grown accustomed to their nomadic lifestyle and have decided to continue patrolling the forests for enemy combatants. Christopher Quinn, biology student 21. Christopher is extremely interested in reggae music and botany. Do these things somehow do go together? Perhaps. They recently got married and moved to Cosmopolis City with their spouse in order to dedicate themselves to study and work. Stuart Von Ellington, 41, Tavern Keeper. Stuart is the owner of a cozy fantasy literature-themed drinking establishment called The Netherworld in downtown Cosmopolis. They're the original party animal and love really obscure horror. They're also a member of a podcast about bad films. Well, they're dead now. John Weber, 45, a soldier. You want a tiny thing fused to another tiny thing? Or, oh, sol solderer, so solderer? Oh, I don't know, solder had a, an L in it, whoops. You come to Jean, so soldering is uh, the cornerstone of building and maintaining any modern technological equipment and Jean is the best at it. Keef O'Toole, unemployed social influencer. Keef likes attention and has an account on every social media platform. Their favorite activity is hanging off cliffs while taking selfies. Keefe's large following on social media has brought in a hefty sponsorship from medical insurance companies. Numerous people around Cacti Valley have contracted dysentery, Epid epidemiologists baffled. Crime boss gunned down in the streets by rival mobsters escalates turf war. Doctor caught stealing corpses trying to revive dead flesh through the use of strange chemistry. Ends up poisoning neighborhood water supply. The Tale of the Mad corpse Ceiling Doctor to be adapted into a feature-length film. Another forest cleared and, and area turned into coal mine. When will it end? Sun County's air quality worsening, rising usage of fossil fuels to blame. Derelict Manor collapses on unidentified person. Freeman, Scal Freeman Scanlon bleeds, man of brass unbeaten on the square, stabbed to death in an alleyway. Wrecked dead. He said kill anyone suspicious, so can't I'm, I... Surely I'm... It's fine that I just say that it's suspicious. They are all suspicious. Hey, kitty cat, you're so cute! Hello? Hello? Oh, bother. Right. Very good. Listen. You are not supposed to mark what? every threat after death. Yes? I thought I made the point rather clear. Come on, motherfucker! All our choices have serious consequences. Why would you do this? <laughs> I don't like people. I don't like people. No, you cannot. I am on a... Sir, leave me. I have urgent matters to attend to. I cannot just give you the phone. Where was I? 
Ah, yes. Grim, you have acted with severe carelessness. The equilibrium of the world is not a trifling matter. It said to kill anybody who was suspicious. I just decided that they were all suspicious. I know it is not easy making these decisions, but that is what I am for. Trust me, and I will guide you. Understood? I hope we will not have to repeat this discussion in the future. Good night. He still has mushroom connections, so he's watching firsthand. Oh, thanks, Tub Tub. I just decided that they were all suspicious. What's the big deal? Yeah, I experiment a lot. Can't rest on laurels when there is alchemy to be done. You gotta have unique techniques to spice things up. Thus, providing exquisite experiences to the customer. Intriguing. I wouldn't have guessed so much effort goes into crafting cocktails. Tell me, what are some of these techniques you've implemented? I swear to God, if she has the hots for this dude, but not me, I'm gonna... I'm never coming back to this establishment ever again. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. And you better take this to your grave, you hear me? See, to make a perfect brew, and this is very important, first you have to still this glass. You mean, uh, distill? No, no, still. Otherwise, they're flying around everywhere. You can't get the initial layer right if your spirits are aimlessly wiggling all over the heckin' place. Phantasmal tranquility is essential for the essence of a cocktail. That guy he sounds like Patrick Seats doing an impression of Wesker through a microwave. You're joking, right? You must <laughs> be joking. I never, never have I heard anything of the sort, and I've been on this afterlife train for a long while. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> anyway, I gotta attend my guest. Me when I ordered Dio from AliExpress. <laughs> Drop in again I think he, I think he did a good Dio. What can I get you? Sure. What's your poison? Right up. Au revoir, little reaper. Okay. What of the day? Five humans must die. One must be spared. This is of utmost importance. You be careful. Let the right person live. Okay. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Oh my god, I'm so glad that they're all... Okay, that... <laughs> I jinxed myself instantaneously. Okay. Jarl Ingmar Olafsson, 41, market researcher. Jarl is currently researching the soda market, hoping to find a new angle. It's a make-or-break situation for Jarl, as they're trying to provide for their family while succumbing to credit card debt. Their boss is... Thinking of firing them due to low results, okay? So I was thinking that that fate wants me to do the thing that kills humans worse, so... You living is very bad. So I think I'll let you live. You dying is very good. Hmm. You dying is very good. Well, the only the only un thing I know is that
commando in forest stumbles upon someone burying their victim, takes killer down, but is stabbed in the process. Barkeep impaled on a broadsword. What the fuck? Social media star falls off cliff while taking a selfie. Market experts warn against investing in Yitcoin. Still wish it was Yitcoin. See the violence inherent in the system. Grim, ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Don't buy wheat coin. Such a transformation from the monotony of the office. It almost makes it all seem worthwhile. Yes, you expect your daily summary. So, off you go. I'm gonna be mad if I don't actually get the proper ending. Wait, let's let's see if there's one more dialogue. Welcome. Another quiet Sunday rolling on by. Maybe you can spice it up. Sure. What's your poison? Who doesn't love some counting on the beads? Au revoir, little reaper. Gotta spend my money on some. It is as if a great calmness has enveloped the world. I do not see the need for many deaths for today. Two humans die, okay? We have four profiles. That person is not new. Not new. You are new. You're not new, okay. Dudley Singleton, 55, unemployed. Dudley aims to make the world a better place by collecting tare, tare. By collecting tare, bottles, cans, and the like. After collecting a set amount, these bottles can be exchanged for money, and new alcohol can be bought from the proceeds, which creates more bottles to take care of. This guy living gets people killed. So I should probably let him live, right? Yeah. That breaks even. That's bad. Damn. Suspect suspected fraud dies of heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. Judge rules to allow a severely additional supply depots required. Hey, thank you so much, LBG. I really appreciate that. Cheese on a wheel in a wheel. <laughs> Judges rule to allow a severely ill environmentalist to die peacefully. An identified body found in a lake, accidentally drowning, accidental drowning presumed. Soda research taken too far as market researcher throw, drowns in a vat of soda, a bubbly death. Is the forest haunted by witches? Creepy little wooden statues found, found all across the nearby woods. Black holes set to end all life? Question mark. What a way to get everyone killed if that's if that's how it happens. How goes the enthusiasm run? It's longer than I thought it was. That was your break. Adequate. Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. At least someone seems to be up to their task. Oh, whatever. Uh, what's with the attitude? Why am I... Because the rep... Because they... Because... Um, yes. Either way, the nerve that uh, no matter. We've seen that. We've seen that dialogue four, three or four times. Wait. Okay. All right. Let's 
Excuse me. Can you please click? There we go. Go with the flow. New. New. Not new. New. Not new. Not new. Very not new. I've dealt with you twice before. Not new. Not new. All right. Bjorn or Dur, 56, unemployed. Bjorn has been unemployed for nearly a decade. After many failed job applications, they lost motivation to try again. The past time, Bjorn has started obsessively watching rom-coms, even quoting them in random conversations. Oh, you're a bit of a parasite, aren't you, huh? Magnus Whitaker, 39, brewer. Magnus, oh my god. Magnus is an experienced brewer who produces artisan beer. Their specialty is microbrew, but they have also experimented with nano and nano and pico brew. They are currently building an experimental brewery capable of producing femto brew. It's kind of based, so sure, you get to live, I, I guess. Let's go with the flow this time, you know, so. He want alierula or something. Alialewe. 19, stunt person. He want, grew up physically very attractive and they've always loved danger and safety in equal measures. That is why they decided to pursue a career in film stunts. Recently, they were hired as a stunt double for a famous film star in an up-and-coming action blockbuster. Oh, well, this is, a, this is very risky for you to do, so it makes sense that you would perish. Femboy Brew and Pea Brew? Yeah, th those, these are Nano Pico and Femto. These are like mathematical measurements of like extremely small size, I think. You are not new. Fiona Yao. We break even if you live or die, excuse me. Eh, sure, we break even, so it's not a big deal for me to kill you. It's good for you to die, so you're gonna have you live. Alessandro Meles, 86, retired. Wow. I, I can't have too many deaths, you know, so... It's more bad if you survive, so we will have you survive. You living, uh... Very good. That's what we like to see. Local teen perishes in hospital after mishap with high voltage hyperboloid. Uh, body found crushed under an avalanche of bottles. There were so many. I destroyed all lives by making the worst choices. Three million views unlocked. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Small peep. <laughs> Welcome. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. What's the result so far? A disarray of thoughts. Listen, is death really such a bad thing? In fact, do these humans even truly exist? It is all transient, no matter what they do or achieve in life. Sounds accurate. They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. They are small and insignificant, yet full of themselves. Go on. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences. Millions upon billions of them. Everyone considering themselves unique. And technically they are. I suppose, on a minor scale, yet also exceedingly similar. While the universe is full of endless wonders they cannot or not even experience or perceive, ever. Can't argue with any of this at all. 
Their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their subjective experience or understanding. Do you know the saying, Grim? Good, yes. The ultimate height of the tree does not only sound. None of this requires humanity to be there to bear witness. I agree with everything. Can I also get a daily review? Fine. Let me gather the files. Oh, yes. You absolutely did everything correct today. Such meticulous profile work. Happy? Soft moan. Sometimes I do not. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. That's weird. Well, that concludes our meeting. Good night, Grim. That's so weird. <laughs> moan for daddy, kitten. Oh, God. Fucking hell. Ugh. Four humans have to die. Grim, I must inform you of a severe event. The atmosphere seems to have cracked open. Figuratively, we will see where this takes us. Four must die. Four or five, huh? Okay, well. New. 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 Why are you all new? I hate it. Mjormin Mepperson. 52. Lecturer. Mjormin gives... Uh, physiology lectures at the local university and writes self-help books as a hobby. They mix vague political and philosophical content into their lectures, although they lack any knowledge or education in either of those areas. Somehow, they haven't been fired. That's fine, they can die. <laughs> Jamil Nagendra, 31, branch manager. Shamil began their career as a customer support agent in a well-known corporation's overseas branch. They climbed up the corporate ladder and are now looking to keep a branch running through the economic difficulties. They are currently visiting in Cosmopolis trying to negotiate additional funding. And it would sure be a shame if you, uh, fucking perished. Eijiri Sugimoto, 56. Cow-calf operator. A generational farmer... Ejiri has taken care of their family's ranch since their adulthood. The ranch itself has seen better days, with most of the livestock lost to severe droughts and the machinery completely dilapidated. Ejiri is trying to is trying desperately to restore the ranch to working order with their small family. Well, you know what? I like cows. You get you are the you are our singular survivor. William Deruma Derum 41, farmer. William escaped to the city when younger, trying to get uh into the acting business. After numerous failed attempts, they returned to their homestead and read through several generations worth of farming tomes. Lately, they've grown more interested in bioengineered crops. Oh, yeah, that'd be a shame, though, if uh, you perished, you know. Alexander O'Malley, mechanical engineer, 44. Alexander recently made a big career change, shifting from being... from baking pizzas at a local Pakluzis to robotics engineering. Their dream is to make waffle-destroying robot. Alexandra is definitely afraid of waffles. <laughs> well, she could be killed by the waffles then. Or, right? Yeah, I didn't fuck up. Imagine giving your employee a positive review and he just messes his shorts. <laughs> stunt gone horribly wrong claims life of young stunt performer. Slithering in are lizard men pretending to be municipal officials. Massive reforestation efforts underway in Fostria by unknown benefactors. Corruption scandal at the border. Dozens of people file lawsuit against Brute Guard. Beer visionaries start selling experimental beer in five microliter tubes. <laughs> Severe droughts worldwide seen as existential threat to once booming agriculture. Cool. Um, I should go buy an eraser from Mortimer again. I think we'll do that right now, just in case. If I ever return to the scene, I'd have young me crew any time. They get more expensive every time you buy them. Ah, the beginning. It has the sweet taste of deliverance. Every blade of grass, every ray of light. It is a
captivating day, is it not, Grim? A magnificent moment for some death and destruction. So today's events are part of your plan? Why, certainly. This is where it all begins, my friend. Mark it in your calendar. The end game. A futile fight against the inevitable. Uh, my high spirits leave me at a loss for words. What am I supposed to do now? What you always do, Grim. It is your job to take care of the world. I trust you to make the correct choices. I, myself, must concentrate. The muses have struck me. They beckon. Work to be done while there is still time. Six humans must die, all right? We only have four days left, counting today. Oh dear, the oceans are boiling. This is certainly going to affect international trade. Six humans, so we have one, two, we have seven people here. You're not new. You are new. 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 This is the only one. Food courier. Hmm. Honestly, I'll keep, now everyone else gets to die after I say their profile aloud. Ildo Silvia, 47, radical climate scientist. As the world's oceans grow more hostile, Ildo has undertaken a top secret solar mission to nuke what is remaining of the polar ice caps in a wild attempt to cool down the planet. Ever since being a young student, they've always dreamed of saving the world and being completely misguided in how to do it. Gil Merrill, unemployed gambler, 34. Gil used to be a sad unemployed person moping at home until they inherited a large sum of money from the great, their great uncle. Now they are a slightly less sad person sitting in casinos and avoiding paying taxes from the inheritance. <laughs> Caroline could rule this building. <laughs> One day I will rule the world, gooey. Henny Vivek, 29, gangster. A life of crime has been Henny's life since they were born. Part of a gangster family, they have taken flight with much of their supposed sharing, supposedly shared wealth and are looking to spend the rest of their days in an apocalypse bunker. Henny is being actively hunted by the rest of their family in a vendetta. Oh, well, they found you. Bana Goksu. 72. Retired. Vana is a person of simple pleasures. They are living out their retirement in a rural area of Cosmopolis City, waiting for not much else than the sun to rise the next day. They enjoy reading science fiction books and crafting lucky charms. Well, it's your time. You're 72, so... Basilie Ar Aroldo. Aroldo. Waiter. Vasilie has been serving tables since they enrolled in college to pay the tuition fee. They constantly dream of a better world, longing for their childhood's simpler times. They plan on taking a gap here after finishing college to see the world as troubled as it is. No, you're not. You're not going to get to see how troubled it is. Cavonius Vihali. Di Vihali or something. Divhali or... 44. Hunter Survivalist. Originally a systems engineer for a large tech company, uh, Carvonius has recently begun promoting a return to grim survivalism, to a hunter state, stalking prey in forests, national parks, and regular parks of the world. Any living beast is considered fair game, and this does mean any, including yourself. Torrential rains, Pellet unusually arid deserts causing massive mudslides. Young cow gives life to save ranch owner from barn fire. Aww. Economic wonderkind found dead in local park. Official suspect heat stroke. 
More and more people dying of starvation in developing countries. Local woman chokes in a waffle and dies? Parliament to uh, discuss waffle ban. Nano-engineered corn briefly becomes sentient. Fatally wounds owner of Derham crops. Famous burger joint. St. Bonks under scrutiny by Ethics Commission. Okay. Yep, it was six humans. Poptal. <laughs> Poptal. Grim, I find myself at an impasse. Lend me your thoughts. Muted myself for a moment there on accident. Should my prose be more experimental, or should I stick to traditional narrative techniques? Experimental for sure. Yes, the exploratory aspect can lead me across the boundary. You are still here, Grim. I guess you want to talk about work instead. Oh, fine. Let us take a look at the situation. My. Pain and suffering are off the charts. Everything is on fire, while ice invades from the polar zones. Could that even happen? Endless mountains of trash, undrinkable water, unbreathable air, toxic pollution, the ultimate ecological masterpiece. And in the center of it, Wow, I don't know letting one person live would lead to an, uh, a specific ending. What can I say? Things do not seem to be going well at all. A tremendous accomplishment, Gray. Yep, knocked it out of the park. Slam dunk, yes. Touchdown. <laughs> there never was an alternative. I could see it from the very beginning. Had you truly wanted to stop the great dying, you would have chosen to act differently. The desire was hidden within you all along. I guess so. It's not as if I was... It's not like I was doing things randomly. Ah, uh, what is done is done. These are the consequences you must live with while you still live. Off to work, Grim. Certainly, you have no time to waste now. Two humans have to die. Two of three. Hope you read this post haste. This is a first. An entire continent has turned into a desert. There were not many humans left there, but now is their final hour. So this is breaking even. Only good and you're new. Let's read you. Gaitana and Lotus. 55, CEO. Gaitana, nicknamed Gal, was groomed from an early age to take over the family business, which happens to be one of the largest food and beverage companies in existence. In their free time, they enjoy long distance hiking and survivalist exercises. Well, this guy just makes things go better. Wait. Oh, I don't. Oh, that's actually not what I meant to do. Oops. Oh, no, wait, no, him dying was a good thing. What am I saying? All right, cool. Absurd scene as notorious mafia family seemingly massacred itself with infighting. Deranged scientists crushed by stolen nuclear warhead in Cosmopolis Harbor. Authorities entirely baffled. World leaders warn of radicalization as disaster looms over human habitats. Falling supply chains cause starvation deaths all over the country. Elderly people hit the hardest. Local fast food establishment raided by looters, staff beaten with one dead from injuries. Cage the Rage. They're real, I tell you. Saw them with my own eyes. They had glasses and a suit and everything. 
Officers find dozens of half-gnawed human bones in a cellar near Midway Park. Well, that's fucked up. Beyond comprehension. <clears throat> Hello, Grim. Yes, I've been absorbed in my work. Tell me, how goes it out there? I assume the plan is coming into fruition? Mayhem and bloodshed continue as planned. We sowed the seeds, now reap the benefits. Endless rows of industrial smokestacks pumping out poison. Chemical waste pooling into the groundwater. A total collapse of the biosphere. My, my, it truly looks like the end. I am giddy with anticipation. It's all that I ever wanted. Death to humanity. A trooper to the end. Ah, you may soon find your peace. Goodness, look at the time, Grim. Precious moments wasted. Enjoy your night. It, are they open yet? No, they're not. Okay. The few remaining humans have to die. Unbeknown apocalypse now. Unbeknownst to themselves, human society has finally collapsed. Whatever normalcy and humanity was left in the world is now swiftly fading. Yep. You're new. Yaffe Kiri. 64, scientist. Yaffe has finally gathered enough data to, to postulate that humanity is completely unable to cope with recent ecological changes. They recently published their work on social media in hopes of leaving a, a warning for next generations, if there are any. CEO, what the hell? CEO of Best Food Incorporated steps down as company uh, valuation takes massive tumble due to worldwide food shortages. Unrest grows as world population faces imminent collapse. Insanely thorough science report shows mankind is utterly doomed. Uh. You know what, I'll hear what you have to say once. Yeah, yeah, I know what you are. Good. Round we go again. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm sure everything will turn out different this time. Doesn't mean I got time for your nonsense. No has time, and yours already ran out. That's the crux of it, ain't it? A seeing you, reader. It's a grim world out there. Now we go to the bar. Welcome, Wayward Grim. You grace us with your presence on this eve. You know, it's been interesting watching your escapades recently. Apparently, you've caused a huge mess out there in the world. Rumors travel fast, <laughs> especially in this office. Best job I've ever had. At least you've been enjoying yourself, eh? Final drink to cap it off? I'd like a drink. What's your poison? Death and taxes. I think out the balance of this one. It may need a bit more tinkering. Drink it alone. Are we going now? Au revoir, little reader. Let's have a talk with Mortimer. What ho, mighty. At last we meet here. The finest tavern in all the land. You know, I'm reminded of the time me and me crew were sailing around the Cape of Ill Omen. Listening with bated breath. And correspondent to the name. A mighty storm or a brewer right on the horizon. Shook our ship to and fro. Many of me mates swept into the icy depths of the unforgiving ocean. I, the sea's a cruel mistress. No ways about it. All of a sudden, the beguiling song of the sirens reached my ears. Now, you'd think sirens would sing afore, 
trying to lure ye to wreck ye ship on the rocks. Nay, sirens be having a bum rap. They even tried to save some of me mates, but twas too late. Many flames by the copper. Afterwards, we all, sailors and sirens alike, got exceedingly drunk off some grog we found. Can't let the chance for a good party to go to waste, eh? I want to tell you a story, even though I already have your gift. Absolutely, you scallywag. Old Mortimer's always willing to hear tales of glorious exploits. Woke up one morning. Searching for an old event, uh, the sun was shining onto my face. Out of no... Suddenly, I saw... Ash and decay. Soon enough. Found myself face to face with a handsome stranger. They said I'd be been doing a good job. So I felt... Happy. Which is great. Huh. I see. <laughs> Mighty. Twas a tale of utter nonsense. Ye sure ye not three sheets to the wind? <laughs> Mayhaps a gift for the ye make sense of things. Non sequitur, spin a nonsensical story for Mortimer. <laughs> this here contraption is called a phantasmalizer. Use it to measure the many spirits into your gullet. Handy after any visit to the tavern. Twas a great pleasure to have your attention. Time to head back to me Emporium. Congress awaits. I like how he says Comrus. Like, it's like he's saying it in an intentionally meme-oriented fashion. It is growing quieter, Grim. Not much left now. Finally, the world could never recover from this. Only one great dying required. It is not called great for nothing. The planet is virtually uninhabitable. The few remnants choking on noxious air. It is the last gasp of humanity. Slowly going out. It is a bit of a somber moment now that I think about it. I have been with them for so long. Anyway, and crucially, my book is nearing completion. So when do I get to read it? Soon enough. Patience, my friend. Leave me to my grand labor, Grim. Tomorrow we shall deal with the final matters of this office. Zero money, huh? The last human must die. Park Junho, 40, last human. One last living entity stumbling across an endless wasteland, drawing their final breath. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. Young sailor shoots self out of a huge cannon. Were they not blown completely to bits, you'd have seen their enormous smile. Fake news. Now that you are not here, now that we no longer... Now that you are not here, now that we long, now that we longer talk, soon it will be over. Okay, that sentence was kind of shit, Grim. Everything is dead. Everything is dead. Fate not talk good. Yeah, he's bad at writing. Can't talk to Mortimer again, alright. The last day, Grim. The last choice. So, how did you choose? It'd be rude not to finish the plan on the last day. Naturally. 
No need to prolong the suffering of the last one. We are not cruel, after all. <laughs> sure you're not. And that is that. No history on it. Just a whimpering ebb into the void. It's okay, Grim. You can try again. Try again. Mm -hmm. Are you mumbling to yourself? <laughs> How quaint. At least Snortimer spent a good last day having his time wasted. Yeah. With this, our acts of discourse can be concluded. Off you go, Grim. Do what you wish with these final hours. We will not be meeting again. But I was supposed to be your cat! Ah, yeah, whatever. I got the achievement for the ending anyway. Society's falling, the world exploited. Humanity wiped out. As you, the instrument of destruction, wait to fade away. Fellow traveler, that was fun, wasn't it? The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did largely screw everything up. The world is in shambles and all. Can really change that. But I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. The end. Adam David Bow. Composer, the one and only unparalleled master of melodies, sorcerer of rhymes, grand vizier of harmonies, who crafted all the amazing music for the whole game. They are Salsa super friendly. Now we're back to, like, a uh, Sir Plif like, a uh, Sir Spudkin Plifkin's personality of saving everyone. Kadri Kunapu, writer. Serious scientist during the day, angsty writer at night, has a similar fashion sense to the Grim Reaper. Lean Kunap, creative lead, digital artist, the cheerful lead of Death and Taxes make a lot of good, good a start for the game as well. They really love cats. Meow. <laughs> Thank you for playing our game. Much love. Gord Splifkin. Yes. I was trying to remember. Marcus Rondo, writer. Marcus is an IT specialist, robot master, and a developer, as they keep saying, meager talent. In their spare time, they read a lot of books, write poetry, make weird little games for mobile. Yeah, even though it's mobile games, I'll still spare you. you know. Martin Radicep, lead writer, a perpetually surly writer of words, phrases, sentences, and paragraphs, often annoyed by ev everything and everyone. Doesn't like people, no sense of humor, 300% grump, get off my lawn. Otmaris Oslit, programmer, the actual professional game developer and programmer with years of experience working in the very depths of the industry. They're who always broken in a variety of unbelievable ways in case of bugs, contact, and blame, Ot. They once beeped so hard that they pooped. <laughs> Rido Kikis, traditional artist, talented artist who created much of the stylish visuals for the game. Gaze upon their concept and line, artistry, and despair, I mean, enjoy, savor, appreciate. This is a cool way to do the credits. Douglas Pennant, voice actor for Fate. A gracious actor who had to vote an endless supply, voice an endless supply of lines some thoughtless writers wrote down, also known as the voice of Fate. One whose performance is immaculate. Isaac Wells, voice actor for Mortimer. An actor of many talents, a big-hearted Samaritan, and an engine of perseverance. Also the voice of Mortimer. Yar, shiver me timbers. Bonnie Bogovic, voice actor, Conscience, 
The voice of conscience, that little bit inside your head telling you to do things, for better or for worse. Bonnie is an audio designer, singer, voice actor, and much more. What can't Bonnie do? Abigail Thorne, voice actor for Herbert and Tim. Abigail Abbey, the tube, is a highly regarded actor, philosopher, Gord Gordy, Dracula, YouTube personality. Dashing, exuberant with a wicked wink and a sharp mind. Fittingly, they are the voice of Herbert, and technically Tim, who doesn't have any lines. What if this actually decided the fate of these people? Well, good thing I'm making them live. Jimmy Yamaguchi, voice actor of Florian. Jimmy works with special needs children during the day and does voice acting at night. They love uh, tonkotsu ramen and playing with their baby girl, Lily. They've got a pretty decent idea for a taco truck. It goes around like an ice cream truck. Charmer is the voice of Florian. Kill one? I don't know about that. Gregory Holgate. Voice actor of Frank Whittle. Gregory has dedicated much of their adult life trying to bring the sideburn back into fashion with limited success. In the process, they unintentionally found popularity as a mid-tier internet personality making songs and animations about video games. Both extremely grateful and fulfilled and fulfilled by the success, they're secretly saddened so few fans have chosen to adapt their style of facial hair. Perfect for the voice of Frank Whittle. Well, you know what? I have facial hair. I can't kill you for having face for doing fa facial hair. Abigail Turner, voice actor of Sari. Despite a tendency to speak words incoherently, Abigail has somehow made a career out of talking into a microphone. Accomplishing such a feat required many daily cups of tea with the brew of choice, while recording Sari being double milk olong with honey. Only the soothest of drinks for the smoothest of bartenders. Well, you know what? Your character... <laughs> Your character rejected me. <laughs> Michael Malconian, voice actor of Gus. Michael's a voice actor from Los Angeles, California. Specializes in the manufacturing of custom-made audio files for clients all over the world. Happy to add Bright Miffed Ghost Janitor to resume. Enjoys trying to convince their D&D group to try whatever obscure indie games discovered this week. Occasionally successful. Stephanie Novak, voice actor for Spawn, for the Spawns. Stephanie is a performer, happily married with two young kids, a military veteran and a former intelligence analyst who spends their young adult life working long hours on the battlefield. Always finding relief from video games, they now use their experience to bring fictional characters to life and provide relaxing entertainment for the overworked. Jacob Williamson, voice actor for The Archivist. Jacob takes great pride in entertainment and is, and is of many vocal talents, unrelated, of course, to accounting or, God forbid, tax forms. They're the voice of, oh, who else believes the smartest and most important archivist? I didn't talk to a lot of these characters in the subsequent what runs to the first. All right, so that was Death and Taxes. Taxes, we uh, kind of were, we were decently thorough about it. There's probably a lot of stuff we didn't see, but we did all the main stuff. And so, yeah, I like this game a lot. It's like Papers, Please, but with less content, but it was also cheaper. Um, And yeah, I like the aesthetic, I like the music. It was all pretty nice, nice and cozy. And so, uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. Hope you all did as well. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back tomorrow uh, with a new game, Hylix. Well, I say new, new for the stream. We've never played it before. It, it itself is not literally new. Uh... But yeah, so that'll be tomorrow's stream. We're going to start on that game. That game's probably one or it's probably that's one and a half or two and a half streams, somewhere between those. So we'll probably do Hylix tomorrow. If it's chill, we'll finish it on uh, next Wednesday. And then I'll have to I'll have to figure out another game, I guess. But we'll get to it when we get to it. Uh, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us here tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where we'll join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And holy moly, 
I was hoping that would take like only an hour, but it took the whole stream, and so I that that was uh, quite unexpected. But I guess that means we get to the, I don't know, I don't have to cut the stream up in editing now. Yay! I can just I can just have one whole video and not have to fucking cut it. And then uh, tomorrow, we get a, a new game. We get Hylix, which looks like a very strange little uh, RPG maker game with a very interesting. Uh, very interesting art style, you know? I like abstract nonsense at times, so we're definitely gonna have a good time with Hylix, I believe. Being confused and just mesmerized by how very strange it is. So yeah, I hope you're all looking forward to that. And yeah, I did take quite a lot of overtime, so I really should be getting out of here. So thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again tomorrow with Hylix. Ciao!